In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a stemless wine glass mock-up in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition where you can change the color of the glitter that's on the glass. So I'm starting from a Photoshop file that I sell on Creative Market um, to get the base file. The beauty of using the actual Photoshop file is that you have some cool automation uh, options that you can do and also um, the background can become transparent so you can put any color behind it or you could move it into um, You could put a, a background behind it or move it up into a mock-up scene creator There's one that I sell on creative market that this works really well in so if I took this um, This version of the glass and I dragged it into my scene creator. I can make different scenes like these and then just edit one time on the smart object, which where it says bride, the part where you'd be putting your vinyl. If you just double click and open that up and edit it once, it will update all the layers in the Photoshop file with that same change at one time. So I just changed it on this layout one. But if we look at layout three, you can see that change to groom and layout five change. Then you can easily, um, you know, export out all those different variations at the same time. So it's really fast and easy to use the Photoshop file. But you don't always have Photoshop at the beginning, especially if you're a new business. It might not be something that you have invested in yet. So I made this blog post and tutorial to teach you how to do all this in Silhouette Studio. Uh, let's start with, instead of the angled one, which would be a little bit more difficult, we'll start with this straight across version of a stemless wine glass and where I have a place where I could put vinyl. I'm just going to turn that off and just leave the glass and the glitter area. And we're going to go up and we're going to say File, Save As, change it to PNG. Not because it's going to be transparent, just because PNG is a better compression than JPEG because you don't lose any quality when you save. I'm going to save it as plain gold and hit OK. Now we'll go over to Silhouette. We'll go Open, which I'm on a Mac, so it's Command O. Navigate to where that file is, plain gold, hit OK. Bring it in, comes in small, so we'll just make it bigger. And then, so easy, you guys. All you have to do is go up to the Shader Effects tool, which is right up here. It says Open the Shader Effects window. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh icon over from the left. Then go into Colorize and just drag, oops, forgot, I have to have it selected. Colorize and then just drag the hue slider around until you get the color you want. Pretty cool, huh? So say we want this purple. We like it, we hit apply effects. If we want to make it a little brighter, we could go into contrast and up the brightness or lower it. But I'm just gonna leave it as is because it was kind of affecting mostly the outside of the glass and not the glitter itself. And then you could come in and add your vinyl design on top of this. Bride. And change it to Blooming Elegant, which is my new favorite font. Fill it with, grab the eyedropper, and we'll just sample from the glitter itself to get a nice purple. Change the line color to transparent. Okay. Then just make it bigger. And drag it on top of the glass. Super easy and quick. And there you have a mock-up that you could show a potential bride for her wedding. And then you can very easily be like, oh, she'd actually rather have this in aqua. So let's go ahead and, and we'll grab the main back file, go up to shader effects, go to colorize, and then find more of a aqua kind of hue, hit apply effects. Then grab the text itself, go to the fill color, 
use the eyedropper again to sample the aqua shade and you have a new mock-up. I hope you found this useful and if you enjoy tutorials like these and these kind of mock-ups and goodies then you'll want to check out my website over at sarahdesign.com. I hope to see you there.